Some of the remarks made by Donald Trump earlier on fly in the face of what the United States stands for, the right to vote, uh, to suggest that people, uh, that the counting of votes needs to stop today because it suits the interests of the Republicans and that if it doesn't, then he's going to go to the Supreme Court. He can't do that automatically, of course. Uh, is that not a big concern for, for the United States and, and its core ideals? It certainly is. And he's been saying that kind of thing for some months now, uh, that the uh, race had to be decided the first night, uh, that uh, mail-in ballots were not to be trusted, um, and uh, that if he didn't win, he would consider it a fraud. Um, these are, on the face of it, outrageous statements. Um, a number of Republicans in Congress who have in the past been very deferential to Trump, uh, have spoken out and said that this is outrageous. Uh, but what it signals, which nobody should be surprised by, is if the rest of the count doesn't go in his favor, uh, he is going to use every stratagem he can uh, to try to get a different result. And that process probably starts with a couple of recounts in states where the count has been close um, and with some other real or invented legal challenges um, in the hope on his part that the legal challenges will wind up in the Supreme Court and that the Supreme Court will rescue them as they did 20 years ago, uh, George W. Bush. Mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't presume to look around that corner and see what, say what the Supreme Court is going to do, because I don't necessarily assume that the judges that he has appointed will feel a loyalty to him to rescue his election. Right. But uh, since one of them is completely untested on the court, and that's uh, Justice Barrett, uh, and two of them are relatively new, um, how they will parse the legal arguments that are made in a case before the Supreme Court is not terribly well-known territory. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, one of the points I'm glad you raised just now is about recount, that uh, Trump is asking for a couple of states or several states to have recounts because the margin of victory is too narrow. It's only 20,000. But if you look at 2016, he won many states with a margin of 20,000. 20, Talking about 20,000, sorry. Uh, he's saying 20,000 is too narrow. Please, could we... Uh, have a recount there, uh, but he won. And when he won by 20,000, that's fine. Are you astonished uh, by all this? What, what was your reaction to his speech? I was appalled by it. I know I was not astonished because he's been saying the same thing for months. Uh, right. Donald Trump decided appalled. in 2015 that he was going to run for president. And since that time, he has shown us on many occasions exactly where his instincts lead him. Um, and I say with, I can't tell you how much sadness that where his instincts lead him doesn't make any room for uh, the law or consistency. So um, what you see is what you get. Right, unfortunately. Right. I mean, I Thank spent you very much. most of my adult life in the Foreign Service, so I was official, an official representing yes. my country. This isn't what I expected to represent.